Welcome to Silver Sea Review. This podcast will have an introduction, a movie review, a movie recommendation, some jokes and quotes, and then an inside the introvert section. All the times are listed down below, so if you want to skip to a certain section or whatever you need to do, feel free to do so. Alright, had to fix my board. Um, it's extremely windy today. Usually it's not this windy here. We actually hit up to a 36 mile per hour gust today, so pretty insane. Um, I had some Christmas decorations out and I had to, one of them this massive inflatable snow globe and it was just all over the place. It ripped all the stakes out of the ground and everything like that. So um, you might hear some wind noise. Hopefully uh, on the audio it won't be nearly as bad. I'm actually underneath a bunch of trees. Uh, did not plan on recording here, but I've, this was one of the few places I found that weren't so windy. Um, if you're watching this, you can see that it's I'm already dark and it's going to get a lot darker. Um, just like the last video, ironically. Uh, it's on the weekend. I'm recording on the weekend like I should be. It's just got later in the day and I didn't realize. And I mean, it's it's 4.50 right now. And uh, it's also cloudy today, so that's part of the reason that it's getting dark so fast. Man, it's crazy. Um, um, this episode is going to be about podcasts, not necessarily about movies. I'm still going to do a movie recommendation, <clears throat> but I'm going to talk about podcasts during this one. And um, just so I get it out of the way, all the podcasts I talk about, I highly recommend listening to. Um, they're all great. So uh, I tried last time to record this, and I completely failed. Um, it was just, it was too cold, and like when I got back to my car, it was 37 degrees, and my hands were not working out, and nothing was going to work. I mean, I I don't like giving up on stuff, but at some point you have to admit defeat, and uh, or just uh, plan to do it again some other time, and that's what happened. So anyways, that failure will be at the end of this podcast, just so you can see that I did try, I just didn't quite make it. So... If you want to watch it or listen to it, I try. I tried to do like a spooky podcast where I was gonna carry it around and use my flashlight to shine it on things, and like I said, just didn't work out. But I've already got the uh, next movies I'm going to review watched and all my notes on them and everything for the rest of the year. And my very last podcast this year will be a top ten. Um, there's still a lot of movies this year that I need to see, so I mean it's possible I'll see things that could be in my top ten and they won't make it just because I haven't seen them but for the most part it, it's just it's kind of annoying that so many movies come out right at the end of the year but I do want to do that as my very last podcast for this year and that'll also be the last video podcast for this year so that'll be on December 31st is when I'm putting that out there that'll just like I said be a top 10 movies of 2018 um Oh, I guess I hadn't actually said this. I thought I had said it in the last podcast, but I learned my lesson that I'm trying to record only on the weekends. Um, because I have those others set up, I should be able to record them in the same day, in the daylight, so um, I won't have to deal with that. And since that'll be the last video, I won't have to worry about daylight there either, so it'll be great. So everything's going to be set up. And uh, this one will be a little dark, but everything else should be all right. Um, I'm finally done. <clears throat> Sorry, finally done catching up on my YouTube videos that I was watching, and it is time for movies. And I have hit them hard. Like, like I said, I've already watched the three next movies I'm gonna do, and I um, uh, have several movies that I'm just waiting a little bit for them to come out, and I'll have them ready for the first of the year. I watched like five or six other movies that I'm gonna just um, put in my other, my later episodes, and. Uh, like, I am back on the movie train, so it's awesome. I am finally caught up on my YouTube. Um, I felt like this was a good time to do a podcast episode. I've been wanting to talk about podcasts since, I guess, this is sort of a podcast. Um, it's uh, It was just one of those times where there wasn't any good movies out to really review, and I had been wanting to do, a, like, a top ten podcast, so I felt like this was a good time for it. I mean, the only other movie I probably would have looked at was the movie The House with the Clock in Its Walls, something like that. And even then, I'm not sure if it was going to be that great. So, here we are.
Um, oh, also, <clears throat> uh, I could have done Grinch or uh, Nutcracker in the Four Realms, but I'm trying to save those until December. Cause I'm, I'm more of a, uh, I don't like anything Christmas until after Thanksgiving, so that's why I'm doing the podcast episode now. I'm probably going to go long on this one. Uh, geese flying over. Take a minute and listen to him. Uh, I have another episode that was getting some listens. Um, it joined the ranks of my Greatest Showman and Jurassic World episode, and it is Smallfoot. Uh, I still can't figure out the pattern. I don't know why. Most of them don't get listened to at all, and then a few of them get some listens. It's very odd, but it's a thing. Like I said, I still don't know. It might be like some bot that's just listening to them to try to make itself seem relevant. I don't know. Because I have never had any comments on them or anything like that. Um, the last episode I did a very terrible job. I apologize. Um, I had so many mistakes, and... Uh, I don't know. That's all I can say. I had a lot of mistakes. I still, um, I was still wanted to release the episode and everything like that, but it was pretty bad. Sorry. Uh, if you have any recommendations for a podcast, post them in the comments. Anywhere you can contact me, um, either on YouTube or SoundCloud or Twitter or Instagram. Just, I love finding new podcasts to listen to, and I literally just listen to them all day at work. So. Uh, if you have any recommendations, put them out there. And uh, I actually stay current on all these podcasts I'm going to talk about. Um, usually I'm two to three weeks behind because I download them all in, in MP3 and then put them on my phone. So it's hard for me to stay up with them. But I do, like, I don't stay like current day current, but I do, I've heard all the episodes from when I started listening to podcasts. And I'm actually old on the podcast scene. I didn't start listening to them until like, Maybe a year ago, maybe a year and a half. So I haven't been listening very long, but I really enjoy them. I was listening to audiobooks and things like that for a while, like when I got this job that I'm at. And uh, then I started switching over to podcasts, and I was like, oh man, these are really awesome. Because it was hard to find audiobooks online for free. Um, I'm not linking to any of these podcasts, but if you just Google the names I say, they should come up, and if you have any questions about them, you can post a comment somewhere. Um, I've actually listened to 92 different podcasts that I liked, or that I um, did not like. Like, I've actually listened to, usually I pick just three of the most recent episodes, and if I don't like any of those episodes, then I consider it one I wouldn't like. And uh, I've actually read the description on 135 podcasts, and they just didn't even sound good. So, I feel like my list is, uh, I feel like I've done a fair amount of research on finding good podcasts to listen to. And uh, technically, I'm calling this a top 10, but there's actually going to be 17 podcasts mentioned. A lot of these are very similar, and I can't, um, I can't decide one over the other. So, it's like I'll have multiple in each rank. Uh, I know that's not how you do a top 10. <laughs> Technically, I should be doing a top 17, but I can't, like, I just can't differentiate. I can't say that either. Um, I can't separate them into different ranks. Like, some of them I like the exact same amount. So, so let's get into it. The top 10 podcast. Uh, number 10 is going to be Very Bad Wizards and also Intelligence Squared Debates. Um, the debates don't come out very much. I maybe once every, like, two or three weeks, so they're not much to listen or not. Uh, it's not hard to keep up with them, but they um, pick really good, interesting subjects, and uh, of course the debaters are amazing, and the uh, moderator is just incredible, and he's really good at being informed about the topic and keeping the flow going and making sure people don't talk out of place, and he's funny and just awesome to listen to. And uh, Very Bad Wizards is a psychiatrist and a philosopher, I'm pretty sure. And... Uh, they also pick interesting subjects. They're a little more on the bland side. Um, it's a little dry listening to that podcast, but it's still very enjoyable. And uh, like I said, the subjects they do, it's usually more philosophy, which I'm, 
it's weird. I really like philosophy and I like talking about morals and things, but at the same time, when you get really deep in philosophy, I kind of get lost and bored. So, it's weird. I really like morality and everything that deals with that, but like why people do what they do. But that's going to be number 10. Uh, number 9 is TED Talks and 1A. Um, 1A is a news uh, podcast. It's the only, well, it's the only, like, political news I hear. Uh, well, <laughs> good grief. It's the only political news I hear on a podcast. Um, I also listen to a YouTube channel, the one I was catching up on, called Philip DeFranco, and he's, uh, he does just general news, and he does, like, a daily video. And he also puts out a bunch of links to neat things on the internet. That's why it took me so long to catch up, because I hadn't, I missed about three months of his videos, and it took a while to catch up. So that's what I've been catching up on on YouTube. But anyways, for podcast-wise, 1A is the only news type of political news that I hear. I, I don't like politics. I don't, I mean, some of it's important to know, but for the most part, I just, it's boring. I don't care. And, uh, but 1A doesn't just do politics. Like, they go into other parts of the news. Uh, most of theirs are about 45 minutes long, and uh, the moderator or the host is very, very good. Um, he's knowledgeable. He's able to keep people on track. He's interesting, and uh, it's really fun to listen to. And then TED Talks are, I, I don't think I've ever heard a TED Talk that um, hasn't been worth my time listening to. I mean, it just, if you ever need, if you're ever losing faith in humanity, just listen to some TED Talks, and you'll see the amazing, wonderful people out there that are doing just incredible things. And these are very, very short, um, usually 10 to 15 minutes, maybe, maybe not even that long. Um, they put out a ton of them. Uh, like I said, I download podcasts every like two or three weeks, and I usually download like uh, 20 to 25 of these maybe. And But I mean, you can blow through them very quickly. And it's just, it's really neat knowing what all is going on and what all people are doing out in the world and the advancements we make, because this is the leading edge of advancements in all sorts of fields. So we're going to go on to number eight. Uh, this is going to be Sincast and Film Spotting. <clears throat> These are movie podcasts. Um, highly recommend them. I actually listen to them for movie recommendations. Um, they don't really go that deep. Um, one of them, I get them, I combine them quite a bit. Um, one of them goes, will occasionally go deep on a movie. Like they'll do like a 30 minute um, segment on a movie and kind of go into it. But. Like, I've heard several other movie podcasts, and they go really deep into movies. That's not, unless I just really enjoy the movie, and even then, it's just not that interesting to me. But these are interesting, um, and like I said, I mainly listen to them just to get recommendations on movies that I haven't seen that are good. Um, and even then, I've, I've got 900 and something movies that I've found, like titles and things. And I'm still not just going to go out and watch them. I'm going to watch a trailer, and then if I think the trailer's good, then I'll watch it. So that's what I get, is when they talk about a movie, then I'll go watch a trailer for it and see if I think I'll actually like it. But they're both excellent podcasts for anything about movies. Um, <clears throat> number seven, Science Friday and Away With Words. Um, which hopefully you can... I probably should... Okay, if I say and at any point, that separates two different podcast names, because none of these have the word and in them. So, I know in the movie review podcast, sometimes they'll say the name of a movie, and it sounds like part of another sentence, because it's like a generic name, and I have to go back and try to figure out what movie they're talking about, and I just realized I was kind of doing that in this, but uh, Science Friday is a podcast, and Away With Words is a podcast. Away With Words is just like it described. It just talks about, they just, they take, um... People call into the show, and they have questions about words, whether it be the how to use a word, where it came from, the etymology, whatever. And these two people are um, extremely uh, well qualified to answer questions about words. They, one of them is a dictionary editor, and I'm not sure what the other one does. I can't remember. But either way, they both have a vast knowledge of words. They do research on it. I was actually on this podcast at one time. Uh, I got to call in and ask my question, have them answer it, and it got into one of the episodes. It's really cool. Um, again, it can be a little, well, 
it can be a little dry, but not nearly as much as Fairy Bad Wizard. And, uh, but it's kind of lower on my excited to listen to, but it's still really good. It's very interesting. It's kind of annoys me when people use phrases and they just don't know the meaning to them and or where they come from or anything like that. Um, for example, um, I could care less. If someone says that, it drives me nuts because the, cor the correct way I say it is I couldn't care less. Because if you say I could care less, that means you could care less. That means you do care a little bit. So. Stuff like that really goes all over me that people just say and they don't really realize the meaning behind what they say. Because if you thought about what you were saying, then you'd be like, you realize that was wrong. And, uh, but yeah, that's a way with words. Uh, Science Friday. This is the other one that was kind of throwing me up. This is also a news type thing, but it's only about science. So, um, the podcast, or the uh, host of this one is very good. I, the only bad thing about this one is it feels like they're constantly out of time. Like, they try to fit so much, usually these are about an hour and a half, and they try to fit so much news and uh, detail in that he's constantly having to cut them off to um, say the name of the show, or he's having to tell them they don't have time, and it's just, it feels like a very rushed podcast. That's the only beef I have with this one, but otherwise, it's great. Um, you'll, keep, you'll be caught up with anything that's science-related, uh, like advancements or anything like that. Uh, number six, this one's got three of them. Uh, Reply All is one, Every Little Thing is two, and Freakonomics Radio is three. All three of these are very similar podcasts, and I like all three of them equally. Um, they pick very random subjects. Um, sometimes it's informative, sometimes it's just fun and entertaining. Uh, all of them have very good hosts. Um, it's interesting the subjects they pick and how they do their research and they're just, they're fun to listen to, and I try to mostly listen to things that I feel like is kind of um, benefiting me in some way, but these are more what I would consider just entertainment, and, um, but they're very good, so recommend those. Uh, number five is two of them, Radio Lab and Science Versus, and uh, I really love the host on these two. Um, these have good information, and they're very fun. Uh, both of them are, of course, Science Versus is a science-related podcast. Uh, Radio Lab deals with quite a bit of science as well, and they'll they'll kind of go off on random subjects sometimes. But um, these, I like them again equally, and uh, for the type of podcast they are. Number four is going to be Heavyweight. I really love the host of this one. He's uh, He's kind of like an introvert, but yet he gets out there and does things that I could never imagine myself doing, that I'd be too scared to do. And he really uh, cares about people, and it's just, it, the this one again is straight entertainment, but the uh, people that, pretty much what it is, I guess I should kind of describe it, um, he picks people that have had something happen to them in the past that they're still not settled with, and he helps them work through it and try to settle it. So whether it be someone who got kicked out of a fraternity and she doesn't know why, or whether it's um, a family members that don't, they just can't seem to connect after a certain time or something like that, it's usually people interactions and uh, that just haven't been solved. And he goes in and tries to solve it. And he's funny, and the uh, he's got a uh, friend that he calls at the beginning of each podcast, and she's extremely funny too. So it is just, I love listening to it. It's really good. Um, they don't put out a whole lot of them. Uh, they've only got, I think, 15 episodes out right now. It's kind of a newer one, but highly, highly recommend. It's great. Uh, number three is going to be Sword and Scale. This one, again, is uh, entertainment, and this is murder stories. Uh, there's a ton of, like, murder and crime and uh, all sorts of podcasts out there. Like, I feel like that's like, the, the subjects of podcasts, you've got, like, politics and news at the top, and then probably, like, murder and crime underneath that, and then maybe, like, sports underneath that, and then you have, like, entertainment or something. <laughs> and uh, so I know there's a bunch out there, and I've listened to a bunch. Uh, someone at work actually recommended about 12 or 13 podcasts to me, and I listened to all of them. One of them, which I guess I can just toss this in there, 
it was called S Town, and it's actually it is a podcast, but it's um, it ended like it was a story essentially, and um, it was excellent. It was just it was amazing. If it was still going on, I'd still be listening to it. But it was essentially just a story type podcast, and uh, almost like a documentary or something. But it was really good. Uh, it was about this guy that was just an amazing person, and he had a very interesting life. And this uh, podcaster got to be a part of his life, and it was really good. So I would recommend S Town. But anyways, for Sword and Scale, um, he just goes in. The host is very good about, um, and I'm sure whoever his team is, about organizing the podcast and adding in the sound effects and the stories and everything like that. But he he also gets all the audio from uh, like the trials and everything, and really does a good job. I feel like of displaying um, the crime, like murder or whatever it was, in a very interesting way. I'm not a big crime person, I don't like Law and Order, I don't like any sort of thing like that, but I'm, I really like this podcast, so much so that I've actually gone and downloaded, sorry I thought it was crawling on me, I've actually gone and downloaded every single episode, um, I think he's on 160 right now, and I went back I think I started around 140 something and I went back and downloaded every single one of them because they're all relevant and they all sound amazing and they're fun to listen to so um, that's what I do whenever I've gone through my weekly podcast I'll go back and listen to some of these because they are great like I really really enjoy them uh, number two is Babylon actually it's called Hollywood Babylon um, this one is a very lewd podcast, um, extremely vulgar, whatever word you want to use, if you can't handle, if you get easily offended, or if, uh, um, like, I don't want to say some of the stuff that they talk about, but just if you can start listening to one podcast, and, or better yet, if you just knew, like, what their segments were titled, that would give you enough information to know if you want to listen to this podcast. I personally find it extremely funny. Um, there's a little bit of news in it, uh, sometimes some movie stuff, but for the most part this is just straight up entertainment and straight up laughter. I mean, I I laugh so much listening to the podcast. It's two uh, people, Kevin Smith and uh, Ralph Garman, and they just host this podcast. They have sections or segments and people send things in and it's a lot of fun to listen to but like I said you've, it's it's got a very narrow audience for what I would consider like you gotta be able to handle you gotta have tough skin to listen to this I guess and uh, I feel like a lot of people don't know that side of me <laughs> that uh, it's like oh yeah I can I can handle anything like that but it is really funny I have kind of a dark sense of humor I think and the number one podcast is Joe Rogan um, technically called JRE, uh, Joe Rogan Podcast, or Joe Rogan Experience, sorry. And um, if you don't know who Joe Rogan is, he got popular off of Fear Factor, and he also uh, was big in martial arts, and he um, uh, he does commentary for the, uh, like an MMA, I don't know which one exactly, but like a mixed martial arts, he does the commentary for it. It's one of the massive ones. And uh, you you would think I would know, but I just don't really care because I don't like MMA at all. So, um, but I hear him talk about it all the time. And um, what else? Oh, he's a stand-up comedian. Good grief! Okay, well, I almost forgot that. Um, he's also a stand-up comedian. So, pretty much, he makes money by talking, and um, he's extremely good at it. And I can Sorry, I keep hearing it. It sounds like my shutter's closing. It's really weird. I don't know what's making that sound. But anyways, the guest he has on his show, and these are long, long podcasts. Usually, um, you don't find one that's shorter than an hour and a half, and they can actually get up to like three hours. Uh, for me, it's great because, I, like I said, I listen to them all day at work or listen to podcasts all day at work, so I'm fine with like three-hour podcasts, but you really got to be dedicated to listen to his podcast. But you'd be surprised how quickly the time goes, and even the guest he has on, he'll be like, we gotta wrap this up, we just did three hours, and they're just blown away, they're like, no, it, that couldn't have been three hours, uh, he always says his room is like a time warp or something, and it's because he's able to talk to people, he uh, makes them feel very comfortable, and he he's interested in what they have to say, so he's just, he's an amazing, amazing, 
great. I'm getting cold. Amazing conversationalist, and uh, he's able to. You get to see a side of people that you would never see anywhere else. And these are like big stars, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, Elon Musk. Uh, he has a lot of other comedians on there. He's got repeat people that come on. He's got MMA people that come on. He's got diet uh, diet people, dietitians, um, archaeologists. The, it's insane the range of guests that he has and the amount of people he's helped with his podcast. And it's just, it's incredible. If you can put in the time, it'll be one of the best podcasts you listen to. And I feel like he is just doing, he is such a good person and he is, uh, he's one of those few people that are just very original and really genuine about what they care about. And he doesn't put up with any crap or anything like that and it's just and he's also <laughs> he calls himself a skinhead because of course he's bald and he works out he's all uh, buff and stuff ripped especially when he was doing his sober October thing but um, um he still is extremely knowledgeable like he's able to keep pace with all these high-end people um, I mean a lot of times they'll lose them whenever like the scientist comes on or Neil deGrasse Tyson or something starts talking about like astrophysics but for the most part he's still able to keep a conversation going uh, he's got such a wide range of knowledge and he's constantly eating healthy um, <clears throat> he gets wild game and uh, takes all sorts of like supplements to make sure everything's going like he's extremely he's a good example of a human being essentially so I highly recommend checking out the Joe Rogan podcast but that's gonna be it for the podcast we're gonna go on to the movie recommendation I'm gonna step over so I can make sure I got enough room in my frame uh, this is gonna be face off this movies from 1997 And uh, this movie is Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Um, essentially, it's kind of like a Freaky Friday type of movie. Um, hopefully, you've seen Freaky Friday. I think there's two of them. Hopefully, you've seen one of them. But, um, except in Freaky Friday, they switch bodies. Like, in this movie, they just switch faces, which is kind of weird. Um, but anyways, the description says, um, Obsessed with bringing... Sorry, it's getting hard to read because it's getting dark. Obsessed with bringing terrorist Troy to justice, uh, FBI agent Archer tracks down Troy's Troy, who has <clears throat> oh my gosh, who has boarded a plane to Los Angeles. After the plane crashes and Troy is severely injured, and Archer undergoes surgery to remove his face and replace it with Troy's, as Archer tries to use his disguise to elicit information about a bomb from Troy's brother. Troy awakens from a coma and forces the doctor to give him Archer's face. So it's kind of goofy. Um, the FBI agent takes off this criminal's face after he's been in a plane crash, puts it on him, and then that's kind of the disguise. And they're trying to make it like scientific and or sci-fi, like it can actually happen. And uh, then, of course, he gets the FBI agent's face, which is just, like sitting there whenever he wakes up. And uh, then it's kind of a battle of them. Like, they still... Like, they're both... Uh, like, the, uh, the mean person, um, who is Nicolas Cage, he still kind of cares about the FBI agent's children and everything. So it's kind of like they, they share a little bit of a bond. But it's just a fun movie to watch. So I recommend checking it out. Face off. All right, I'm back. Uh, I went long, I kind of figured I was, and I hit the 30 minute mark, and my, <laughs> I restarted this and realized that my battery was dying, so I had to change out the battery real quick. Uh, this really sucks. I, I thought I did pretty well on my jokes and quotes, and it cut it out. Like, I, oh man, I really liked what I said about my quote, and it, it's gone. <laughs> so, uh, well technically it's in my audio, but not in my video, so I'm going to have to cut it out and redo it, and I'm going to have to redo the jokes, so here we go. Um, I sold my broken puppets, puppets, no strings attached. <laughs> right, um, 
Oh, did you know the meaning of opaque is actually unclear? Right. Alright, that was about as good as I did the first time, except for I messed up saying the first quote. Um, the quote, the good news is nothing lasts forever. The bad news is nothing lasts forever. And actually, that should be the that should be reversed. <laughs> it should go. The bad news is nothing lasts forever. The good news is nothing lasts forever. Um, this is very interesting because, yeah, if you look at something good, it's not going to last forever. But a wise person would also be able to apply that same uh, mindset to something bad. So you should know that something bad is not going to last forever. And I really wish that I could somehow relate to people or... Um, inform people of how much I've seen in my life that you just can't predict the future and really nothing lasts forever and it can change tomorrow. It's insane how quickly the future can change and how um, how unexpected the future can be. You just can't imagine what can happen next and that can be a very good thing especially for people who are depressed or just nothing's going right in their life or anything like that, it can change tomorrow. And I've seen it, it's happened to me, I've seen it happen to other people. It's, it can change so quickly and um, just, it doesn't matter how bad something is, it will not last forever. That's one of the few things that you can't really know what the future holds, but you can know that nothing will last forever. So, yes, that can be bad at times because good things end, but it's also very good at times because the bad things end. So always hang in there because tomorrow is a new day and it can just be a brand new world. The uh, other quote is really dark now. Integrity, integrity is doing the right thing when no one is watching. I can't really say much on this one, much more on this one than what it already says. Um, it's just doing what's right. Uh, that's one of the best things to shoot for in life is to do what's right whether you get credit for it or if someone notices you or anything like that because if you're doing something and you expect like a payment back you're not um, you're not doing it out of the kindness of your heart or anything like that but I really don't have much to add to that one it is getting really cold now that it's getting so dark so having trouble talking I am gonna go ahead and get my flashlight out because it's hard to read this paper uh, for the introverted stories, but all I've got left is the three introverted stories inside the introvert. Um, this area I'm at right now actually um, is very popular for photographers and I've actually come down here and um, shot a bunch of like, family things. And I, the it was funny because the first time I ever learned about this place, a friend told me about it. and. Um, she was wanting pictures of her. So we came here and there was like no one here. I was like, man, this is a really good spot. The next time I came out here, there was like seven photographers here. It was insane. Um, I think I've actually already said that in a previous podcast. I thought it was part of this one. But anyways, I came out here to scout out areas um, to record the podcast at. And there were several photographers. And I had to walk past them, and it's one of those things that it's very awkward for me, and it's also kind of awkward for them because they have to stop shooting, and I also have to get out of line of sight because even though I'm walking past, if it's like a straight stretch or something, they'll still have me in the background, and I don't. I think I was just wearing a black coat, so that was less obvious, and of course they could Photoshop me out, but at the same time, being a photographer, I knew line of sights and what direction they were shooting so I was trying to walk on the edge of the path to where I'd be out of the frame as quickly as possible but it was still both directions I had to go had photographers shooting when I was trying to but I was here I was like I still want to scout out my scout out my areas and uh, I need to get it done so I went ahead and went past them and annoyed them and of course as you approach them the little kids are like there's someone coming every single time I come up and everyone turns is looking at me and it's like Sorry, this is awkward, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, the next story, I uh, shot a baby shower recently, and it was massive. Like, I've seen smaller weddings than this. Um, there was probably 100 people, and it was in a room that's designed to 
easily seat like 50 to 60 people. So I mean, there was like no room to walk around. Um, if I was standing there shooting, that meant I was in like a walking aisle and people were constantly up and moving around. Luckily, I do have very good situational awareness. I know what's going on around me at all times. It's very rare for somebody to be able to come up behind me and me not realize they're there. So I got to use that to my advantage and um, get around and take pictures and it was a uh, it was interesting. I still I like doing stuff like that. Um, like I think wedding photography is probably my favorite type of photography, um, mainly because weddings are like very structured usually. But I like being able to walk around and capture candid photos. I'm not um, I don't mind doing portrait pictures, but I'm I like candid pictures a lot better. I like capturing people when they're laughing and not even realizing I'm there. I like as an introvert, I like people not even know, noticing me and not knowing I'm there. But uh, I was definitely exhausted after doing all that. I had spent every ounce of social energy I had trying to uh, talk to people and smile and take pictures of them. And it was, uh, it was long, too. I think I stayed there for about four hours. But it was good. And uh, the, uh, the last one, uh, the last story is going to be another one about building sets for work. Uh, we keep having to come in and build them on the weekends, so that's where I'm getting all my introverted stories from right now. Um, well, this one wasn't actually on the weekend, but we had a meeting at work, and uh, on the weekends, like our committee, I think has ten people on it, or our like subcommittee or whatever. But only two of them, two to three, show up on the weekends to actually help out building the, these sets, which I don't really mind, but. Uh, we had a meeting with everybody, so everyone, it was during work, so everyone was there. And we were, again, trying to work on building sets. Well, it wasn't, it was something that only two people could do at a time. Like, we were trying to build a fireplace by taping this uh, brick looking paper to these boxes. And, uh, or actually, at that time, we were just taping the boxes together. And it was just something where you had one person holding it, one person taping it. So we had like 12 people in the room, and only four people were actually working on anything. And the rest of us were just like awkwardly standing around watching them because we didn't know what to do. And I really hated it. I don't. I, I hate standing around not doing anything. And uh, I finally jumped in and took the place of someone else. So at least I was working. I was like, I don't really care anymore. Like, I know everyone else is kind of feeling awkward because it was. They were just sitting around talking, like we weren't even, they weren't even discussing ideas or anything like that. We were there to work on this and we didn't have things prepared to work on. So, it was extremely awkward, but uh, we got some done until we ran out of tape. And, uh, like I said, once I jumped in and started actually working with it, it wasn't too bad. But, as I'm shivering here, that's going to be in the, the end of my podcast. Uh, there's an introduction video out there, so you can check it out if you're just uh, listening to this now, and it'll tell you more about what my podcast is. Um, all the videos or all the uh, episodes are on YouTube, so you can uh, watch that to see. Right now, you won't be able to see anything because it's so dark, but uh, you can see at the first of this video. I have a very light-colored jacket on, so you can see me pretty well. But uh, you can see what what's going on, why I say what I do, and everything like that. And you can see the nature backgrounds. Um, the episodes get posted on podcast or on, on SoundCloud. Um, the MP3s, they'll stay on there for about a month. Uh, now that I've got a few that people are listening to, I've just kind of left those up, so I don't have uh, new ones that stay on there for very long. And I have still haven't decided to pay for it. And you can also contact me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Twitter, I just post links to videos, and Instagram, I try to post funny pictures I see online. And that's gonna be it. So take care of yourself, because there's only one you out there. Welcome to Silver Sea Review. Woo. So, uh, this will be interesting. Um, this podcast will have an introduction, a movie review, a movie recommendation, some jokes and quotes, and then an inside the introvert section. I'm going to look up at the moon real quick. Try to zoom in a little bit. It's probably not going to do much. Yeah, okay. Actually, I wonder if I can change it to... Probably not. 
I've got it stuck on manual focus. I don't think it really matter much. Um, I need to get my phone out. So, we're gonna go on a nature walk at night time. How about that? That'll be kind of interesting, right? As my fingers freeze off. I couldn't really figure out what to do on this podcast because it's dark. And uh, I still wanted to do it because I don't like giving up on stuff. So I decided to do this. So I've got this super powerful flashlight. Hopefully it lasts for the 30 minutes. I'm not positive it will um, because it gets super hot and uses a lot of battery power. But it should be fully charged, I hope. So uh, maybe the walk back will be a little bit dark. But I've got my... I also couldn't figure out how to light the uh, paper, so I ended up taking a picture of it, and for some reason I can't get it to zoom in. Hang on just a second. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're not going to be able to see me this entire podcast, but I am here. <laughs> uh, if you look back at the one right before this, I'm in the same location. I'm just going to... I'm also carrying my camera. Um, I don't have the little tripod thing, so it's probably going to be a little bit shaky. So, this will be interesting, but luckily you'll not have to see this again. Although, that's what I said about the last video, which technically this isn't the same as the last video. This is a spooky adventure. I wish you could see better that way. I'm going to drop my camera. I don't know. I feel like my uh, camera doesn't do a very good job of, uh, maybe if I'm on this side it'd be better. I feel like it doesn't do a very good job of like using the ISO and trying to really lighten things up. But anyways, this one's, now that I'm rambling, this one's probably going to be mostly audio. There's not much to see on this one. Uh, not that it matters because like I said in the previous one, no one really watches the videos. But So anyways, we're going to go on. Uh, the uh, this episode is going to be about podcasts, not about movies. I will still have a movie recommendation, but it'll be uh, this one will be mostly all about. Man, it is so cold. My nose is going to start running. My hands are going to freeze. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm just going home.